Hey guys, good morning. It's Dean. It's Monday, which means I'm going to show you another workout from the Manflow Yoga Workout Library. So today's workout is Upper Body Torch, and this is a pretty fun, challenging workout I filmed to help you build upper body strength. So we're going to work on chest, arms, back, and shoulders, and we're going to um, work into mobility as well while we're doing this. So make sure to come back every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on YouTube, Facebook, and on the Manflow Yoga blog. We're releasing new workouts every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So, hope you enjoyed this workout. And uh, if you want to see the full thing, it's all part of the Manflow Yoga members area. Learn more at manflowyoga.com. We're going to grab a strap, do a little bit of work with the strap to make sure that our upper back is nice and ready. So, strap behind the back. Hold it. Hip width distant. Palms facing your body. And then I want you to bring your shoulders up back and down and press your elbows toward one another. Squeeze your elbows toward one another. Now reach down. Notice that my arms are straight. Triceps engaged, biceps engaged. Pull the chest up and through your arms so getting nice and tall. And then lift your arms away from your back. So just getting the upper back active. So this is a really good chest stretch but it's also very effective for strengthening your upper back. When one side of your body stretches, the other side is strengthening. So opening up the chest strengthens the back. Squeeze your arms back a little bit more. See if you can lift up a little bit more through the chest. And pull the strap in opposite directions. Last two breaths. You want to feel the muscles in your upper back engage. Arms are staying locked out. And then release your grip. Go ahead and take the strap down. All right, so chest is open, upper back is ready. Let's take it down to a plank. So hands are shoulder width, and let's focus on the technique here before we go into anything else. So the index fingers are going to face forward, and this is, I want you to keep this in mind the entire workout. Index fingers are facing forward. Your thumbs are facing in as much as possible, so making a nice L shape with your hands. And then you're pressing down where your fingers meet your palms. So particularly from the thumb to the index finger, pressing down into that L, and then not letting too much weight dump into the wrist. In fact, it kind of helps to pretend like you're lifting the wrist slightly, and that will help you avoid wrist pain. So if you have wrist pain in yoga, it's probably because you're dumping the weight into the wrist, not using the fingers and the forearms enough. All right, so do that with the right hand too. So again, the index fingers spread wide, thumbs reaching away from the index finger, pressing down, into that area, into the space where the palm, uh, where the index finger meets the thumb through the palm and pressing down to the webbing of your fingers. All right, and then from here, we're going to wrap the biceps to face forward. So the inner elbows face forward. So I'm not, my elbows don't face out. My elbows wrap to face backward. The inner elbows face forward. And my upper body is going to stay nice and engaged. Shoulders stay on top of the hands. And then let's tuck the toes and bring it into a full plank. <sighs> Belly button is up, core is engaged, making sure I've got a straight line from my heels to my head. So making sure that my hips aren't sagging. They're also not up too high like this, but kind of right in the middle. Aim for that straight line. Again, the triceps are wrapping back. My fingers are pressing down firmly into the ground. I should feel my upper back working here through my shoulders, my upper back, my arms, my chest. Let's do two more breaths here. Deep breaths. One more breath. This is just this is just the warm up. And then we're going to take it down to a forearm plank. So, forearms come down, shoulder width. So your elbows are lined up under your shoulders. Squeeze your elbows in toward one another and keep that engagement the whole time. Press your forearms into the ground. Try to press your wrists to the ground and then make your upper body straight. So again, straight line from the heels to your head. Chest pulling forward, so your chest is somewhat looking forward here. And then take two deep breaths here as well. Again, elbows squeeze in toward one another constantly and the forearms and wrists pressed into the ground. One more breath. All 
All right, release all the way down, nice and slow. We're gonna move into a cobra. Reach your legs back as far as you can, pointing your toes. Press the tops of your toes into the ground, so the tops of your feet into the ground. Squeeze your ankles, your knees, your hips, your thighs toward one another, making your leg a single unit. Tighten your abs, lift your chest, squeeze your elbows back toward your hips, almost like you're pulling your elbows toward one another, and that's really gonna help you engage the upper back. Make sure your abs and your hips are engaged here to protect your spine. Push the top of your head a little bit further away from your hips. Try to arch your upper back a little more. 10 seconds here. Keep pushing your feet into the ground. Keep your legs really intensely engaged here. Five more seconds. Squeeze a little bit more. Three, two, one, and release. All right, we're gonna take it back into a child's pose. Focus on the shoulders and your hand placement. So, knees are wide, big toes touch. Shift your hips back toward your heels. Keep your chest nice and long here. So we're gonna work on keeping a long line from your pubic bone through your sternum. So making sure they're not rounding here like this, but staying nice and long. Bring your arms out in front of you, maybe a little bit wider than shoulder width. And again, same thing with the hands. We wanna spread the fingers really nice and wide. Press into that space where the fingers meet the palms. And then relax the forehead down. Squeeze your arms toward one another, almost as if you were scrunching the mat together. And hips pushing back, again, lengthening through the front side of your torso. Forearms and shoulders really engaged here, so pressing down into the ground with your hands, at the same time squeezing your arms, hands and shoulders toward one another to properly engage the upper body. So that should help you feel stretching through the chest, through the armpit, through the shoulders, engagement through the upper back and the shoulders, and maybe some stretching through the mid and upper back as well. Let's do two more breaths here, just working on that engagement through the upper body. So again, hands pressing down and arms squeezing toward one another. One more breath. All right, nice. We're gonna move back into a plank and we're gonna do some scapular mobility exercises. So I want you to plant the hands. Again, everything we just talked about, pressing into the fingers, pressing into the point where the palms meet the fingers, index fingers, thumbs spread wide, and lift the knees. Bring your upper body forward. Now, keep that straight line from your heels to your shoulders and without bending your arms, we're gonna bring the upper body a little bit closer to the ground so again, without bending the arms, without letting your hips sag. So just bringing the upper body a little closer to the ground and then straightening up all the way. So what we're doing here is we're moving the scapula. So we're letting the upper body come down, keeping the arms straight, right? And then lifting back up. So just exercising the muscles between your shoulder blades here. So moving from this position here where the shoulder blades are coming together and then moving back up where the shoulder blades are pulling apart. We do five more of those, all the while keeping good engagement through the upper body and through the core. Arms stay locked out this whole time. You can look forward to make sure you keep your upper body straight. All right, and then one more, slowly down just with the upper body, not with your arms, and then back up, good. All right, let's go ahead and come up to a squat, just as a nice transition, let's get your hips active, squeeze your hips toward one another, push down through your heels, sit your hips toward the ground, dig down through your heels, through your toes, keep your chest up, bring the arms out, and press your arms out in front of you to help stretch your arms, help, help, help stretch your shoulders, excuse me. So pressing your arms out as far as you can, feeling that stretch through the armpits, and then lifting your arms, three breaths here, turning your palms to face back, pressing your arms further away from your shoulders, making your arms as long as you can, opening up through the shoulders, that's our goal here. One more deep breath. 
and then standing up all the way with control. <sighs> all right, let's get a little shoulder stretch in, standing side stretch, toes touch, bring your arms up overhead, interlace the fingers. Actually, don't even interlace the fingers, push your palms together. So this is a really cool way to, or a cool alternative to a standing side stretch. So the palms are going to press together here and then lean up and over toward the right and keep your palms pressing into one another. So this is gonna help you strengthen your shoulders. Instead of holding on, like we usually do, interlacing the fingers, we're gonna keep applying constant pressure by pressing the palms and the fingers to one another. Make sure you're using both hands, not just one or the other, and try to keep your arms straight. One more breath here. Come back to the middle, breathe in, lift up. Other side. Palms pressing together. Press down hard through your heels and through your toes. Make sure you're nice and tall here. Use your exhale to go deeper. And again, really press the palms together. Keep your head upright. Keep your fingers even taller. One more breath. And then come back and go ahead and release your hands. All right, from here, we're going to go into a chair pose with your hands interlaced behind your back. So I want you to get your toes set, toes touching, heels an inch apart. Interlace your fingers behind your back. If you can't do that without the strap, go ahead and grab the strap. But try to do this without the strap. So interlace the fingers. Again, we want to have the shoulders up, back, and down so the chest is open. We don't want to have the shoulders coming down like this, right, and rounding. So if you feel like your shoulders are coming down and rounding, get the strap and then reach down, pull your chest up, and then sit down into a chair pose. Might feel a little weird doing a chair pose like this, but you'll be fine, I swear. Squeeze the knees together, pull your hips back, lift your chest up, and hold here for three deep breaths. So thighs pressing toward one another, glutes firmly engaged, chest pulling forward and up, arms lifting away from the back. pushing evenly into both heels, making sure your hips are engaged, both hips are engaged. Try lifting your arms a little bit further away from your back for the last breath. And then stand up and release. All right, we're gonna go into a wide-legged position here. So legs are wide, press into the outer edges of All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that workout. Uh, that was the upper body torch. Um, I'm really excited about that one. It's actually part of a upper body program uh, that is currently being released in the members area. So to get access to that and all of the workouts, the tutorials, the programs, and more, just go to, just go to manflowyoga.com uh, and you can get a seven day trial for just $1. That gets you unlimited access to everything. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.